In this video, we will go over how to use the Connecticut Demographics and Affecting Facilities web map. We will briefly go over the types of information included in the map and take a deeper dive into how to navigate the various tools within the application. This map includes demographic data from the Census Bureau's American Community Survey five-year estimates. The demographics included in the map are percent low income, percent minority, and percent of households with limited English proficiency, or LEP households. Detailed definitions for each of these demographics is included in the About tab in the upper right corner of the screen. Also included are affecting facilities as defined by EJ statute and the boundaries of the current Connecticut EJ communities. All available data layers are included in the layer list on the upper left side of the screen. The layers may be clicked on and off by checking or unchecking the boxes to the left of the layer names. The drawing order of the layers is top to bottom, so layers listed above will be displayed on top of layers listed below. If you click the three dots to the right of the layer name and scroll down, you can click on View in Attribute Table. This will open a table at the bottom of the screen that contains all the data for the layer in tabular format. These tables may be downloaded by clicking on the Options menu and selecting Export All to CSV. The Legend tool displays how each layer is symbolized on the map. Note, only the layers that are currently drawn on the map will appear in the legend. When navigating the map, you can click on any feature to view its attributes in a pop-up table. If multiple layers on the map are being displayed at the same time, you may have to scroll through the pop-ups to view the information for the layer you want. This can be done by clicking the Next Feature arrow at the top of the pop-up. You can also search the map for specific places and addresses using the search bar. Simply type in the information for the location you are interested in, Hit search and the map will zoom into the desired location. It is worth noting that while some places may be searched for by name, others may require you to type in the street address. If at any time you would like to return to the map's original extent, click on the home button in the bottom left corner of the screen. The swipe function allows you to view two different data layers side by side. For example, say you want to compare percent low income at the block group level to percent low income at the town level. To do this, make sure both layers are clicked on in the layer list. Then click on the swipe tool. Once the tool is open, select the topmost layer as the swipe layer. You can then slide the divider left and right to view different areas on the map. To exit out of the swipe tool, click on the tool icon. The filter tool allows you to filter the demographics layers at the census block group or census tract levels. The filters are set so that only areas that meet a certain percentage will be displayed. For example, let's say you only want to see the block groups in which the population is at least 40% low income. To do this, open the filter and type 40 under percent low income is at least 
and press enter. You can also set multiple filters at the same time. For example, if you want to view all block groups at, that are at least 40% low income and or at least 40% minority, you can view both at once. First, make sure both layers are checked on in the layer list. Then simply type 40 under percent minority is at least and press enter again. You can also create your own custom filter by clicking the icon in the bottom right hand corner of the tool. You can measure the distance between two points using the measurement tool. Click on the measurement icon and select the distance option. To measure, simply click on the first point of interest and then double click on the second point. Once you are done measuring, hit clear to refresh the tool. The default unit of measurement is miles. However, the units can be changed to any of the options in the drop down menu. This tool also allows you to measure area. When measuring the area of a polygon, click once on each point and then double click the last vertex to signal that you are done drawing the polygon. By default, the area is measured in square miles. However, these units can also be changed to any of the options in the drop down menu. You can also find the coordinates for a given location by using this tool. This map also allows you to draw a circle around any given point on the map. For example, say you are interested in seeing what is in a one mile radius of a certain facility. Open the draw a circle tool and set your center point as the facility you are interested in. Then set the radius of the circle to be one mile. After you click OK, the tool will draw a circle around the point. While this video provides a general overview of the data and tools available in this map, we encourage users to explore the layers and functions on their own. There are many ways to visualize this data, so please be sure to click on all the map icons and explore all the ways the data you are interested in may be analyzed. For more information on environmental justice in Connecticut, please visit the CTDEEP EJ homepage.